Hey everybody, it's Sarah with Loaves and Dishes, and today I'm going to show you how to boil cauliflower. Here's what you're going to need. Uh, cauliflower, water, butter, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. So first thing you're going to want to do is put a pot of water on the stove to boil. Then you're going to cut up your cauliflower. Um, mine had been sitting in the fridge for a week. So I had a couple bad spots on it that I just sort of shaved off with my knife before I started cutting it up. Um, it doesn't really matter how you cut up your cauliflower, just as long, just so long as the pieces are even sized. Um, if you have some big hunks of cauliflower and some tiny hunks, things will cook at a different rate and some of it will be mushy and some of it won't be done. Alright, so then you're going to put all of that cauliflower into some boiling water. My water isn't quite boiling because it makes it easier to get that on camera. There's less steam. Um, but you'll transfer all of that to your pot of boiling water. And then you will want to put the lid on it and let it boil for five to seven minutes. While that's boiling, you're going to make your sauce um, or spice mixture. You're going to need some butter. Put that in your pan. Then you're going to add garlic powder. I measure the garlic powder with my heart. Um, then you're going to add onion powder. I uh, made a big mess. So what I did was I scooped out the extra and then I didn't have any more butter and I didn't have any oil, so I used just a spoonful of bacon grease as a substitute. My husband didn't say anything about the taste, so I think it was fine. Um, I mixed that up. Um, then I added some salt and some pepper. Um, and I wanted to add a couple extra seasonings to make it a little spicy. So I added some smoked paprika, um, some cayenne pepper and red pepper flakes just a little bit not a whole lot and then you let that cook for just a minute just until everything is fragrant I'm gonna give it a good stir and then set that off to the side Then you're going to want to check on your cauliflower to see if it's fork tender. And you can sort of see in the video, I can pretty easily fish out a piece of cauliflower and stick my fork into it. Although the steam makes it difficult to see. Um, so then I'm going to remove the cauliflower from the water, put it in a bowl, and I'm going to add my spice mixture to the cauliflower. And then I'm gonna mix that up pretty well. You wanna make sure that everything is kind of evenly coated. And once everything's mixed up, you can eat it and enjoy. Thanks for watching.